Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So if you're going to be recording videos for YouTube or any other format, then more than likely you're going to want to record multiple tracks at the same time. So what I mean by that is say you have a video game channel, right? And you wanted to record your voice and the game, but you also want it on two separate tracks so that you don't have to record these things individually. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that easily within OBS. So once you have OBS up, just go ahead and go to your settings and then you go to output and make sure the output mode is in advance and then you go to recording now here the default audio tracks is normally just going to be for all of them it's going to check all of them at the same time or maybe it might be none in your case so be sure to check how many tracks you want to record and typically for most people they're going to have two tracks one for their desktop audio and then one for their mic and then in terms of the recording format, you could choose multiple formats, but I recommend you choose MP4 because uh, FOV doesn't support multiple tracks, but it really is up to you. Now, I can't change anything right now because I am recording this video. And now you're going to go to audio, and here you could actually choose the audio bitrate for each track. And also you could name the audio tracks as well. And so that's all you have to do there and click OK. And then finally, you're going to come down here to your gear icon for whichever audio property that you have. Right click, go to advanced audio properties. And here you're going to choose the track that you want to record the audio on. So in my case, I want my desktop audio to go to track one and my mic aux to go to track two. And the default normally is everything is already checked by default. So just go ahead and uncheck the ones that you don't want. And if you have more than one audio source, then obviously choose the appropriate track and device for that. So now that you have everything set up, you could go ahead and play a video or whatever it is. So right now I'm recording the audio coming from my desktop, which is this uh, video. And then also I'm recording my voice through the mic. So as you can see here, the desktop audio is playing and there's my mic. So that should be good. And I'm going to go ahead and stop recording and I'll show you how this looks like in your video editor. For the best value in domain names, check out Namecheap where you can get a domain for an entire year for less than $10, plus get WhoisGuard privacy protection for free. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. So right now, there is the video file that I just recorded. I'm going to go ahead and open up DaVinci Resolve. Then I'm going to pull this video into DaVinci Resolve right here into my media pool. Now I'm going to drag this into my timeline. And what you'll notice is there's two separate tracks. Uh, one of them is for my microphone, and then the other one is for gameplay. So if I just played right now, it's only going to be my microphone because I did another start episode of the game. Outdoors.com. So you might be able to hear my voice there. Then I'm going to go ahead and mute this. So later on in the video, I actually played the game. So you can see here, there's the audio. And now if I play it right here, the you should be able to hear the game. The and then I could play the my microphone. The audio so the benefit of you having these two separate tracks is obviously you can adjust them uh, as you wish. And at the same time, the most important thing is you didn't have to record these tracks separately and then try to put them together. They're all here in the video file and you can't really see this or hear it. I would say whatever you're listening to this in a media player like VOC, uh, but you can see them once you bring into a video editor like DaVinci Resolve. So that's my really quick tutorial on how you could actually record multiple tracks simultaneously in OBS. If you had any thoughts on this, whether you have done this before or maybe you have some other questions on using OBS, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you didn't want to see my entire OBS tutorial, I do have a playlist. I'll leave that in the description as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.